I take the lead is this year's theme for the youths. Several stakeholders have broken down the theme in many ways, describing it as the right one, which has come at the right time when youths have resolved to take a lead socially and economically. The question is, who will lead who? Amidst many social and economic challenges, many young people have been identified in society to spearhead the transformative revolutionary agenda of the young people. One of such high caliber is George Mwanza, popularly known as Young Mayor. George Mwanza is on top of things in ensuring that the transformative revolutionary agenda is realized by the young people in Chipata. During this year's Youth Day celebrations at David Kaunda Stadium, DK, people were on top of their voices chanting Young Mayor, Young Mayor, indicating and perfectly amplifying the confidence young people have in the courageous and fearless young man. This year's Youth Day is indeed a revolutionary Youth Day because the film encourages the young people to take the lead in a lot of activities. So what we are saying is that we've reached at a stage as a country where the, the social, economic and political agendas of the country must be driven by the young people. So we've reached at a stage where we, the young people, must take the lead. So the interpretation of the 2020 Youth Day theme is to encourage the young people to take the lead in all aspects of national development. So we must take the lead in a progressive citizenship. We must take the lead in being responsible young people that are going to drive the agenda of this country. That is what we are talking about. So as young people, as we celebrate this year's Youth Day, we are saying we've reached at a turning point where we must be able to say enough is enough and we must be responsible in anything that, in everything that we do. Be it in the area of, be it in the civil service, be it in the political space, be it in everywhere, we must take a lead now. So this is the time. So our interpretation of this year's theme is basically to encourage the young people to take a lead in, in completeness, take a lead in, in agriculture, take a lead in sport, take a lead in leadership. And it encourages young people to take their much needed spaces on the political space so that we should be able to make decisions that are going to be in the best interest of the young people. So thank you very much. We are grateful to the government for giving us an opportunity to celebrate this year's uh, Youth Day so that we can be able to remind ourselves as young people and say time has come for us to take leadership. Limbigan Nyelenda spoke on behalf of the youths in Eastern Province and demanded for more recreation facilities and in here especially educational facilities. Guests of honor, as young people of Eastern Province, we feel there is need for a public university, just like the case for other provinces. This can save the young people from traveling those long distances just to access university education. We are very much alive to the project that the government is implementing, such as construction of roads, hospitals, and many others. However, there is a lot, there is also a need to consider constructing the university in its province. This is this to a large extent will remind accommodation rules in other established public universities as the case is now. We humbly urge the government to find possible ways of expediting the process of establishing the university which will not only benefit youths from Eastern province, but also international students from nearby countries, such as Malawi and Mozambique. Eastern Province Minister Makebe Zulu, who was represented by Assistant Secretary Lloyd Tembo, had this to say. The theme that seeks to reckon that the young people need to be given platforms to take the lead, taking into consideration their unwavering contribution that they make in accelerating national development. The Patriotic Front government understands the demand to include the youth in all areas of development, an indication that it is an all-embracing government that does not want to leave the one behind. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, my government will continue to initiate programs that are tailored to responding to the numerous needs of the youth. 
societal youth liberation and transformative revolutional agenda shall continue until the young people take a leading role in decision making positions. This requires determination, vivaciousness, fearlessness, courageousness, and above all, respect and discipline. Samos Vesta Kwame, reporting, Sparta, Eastern Province.